Okay, we've got a program here that will move the robot forward, you know, an approximate distance. And through trial and error, you have to change these numbers here. You always want those to be the same if you want the robot to move in a straight line forward. And experiment with this here. And if you play around with them, you should be able to figure out, you know, how to get the robot to go a particular distance. Um, there is another way to do it. It's a little more complicated, but it's a little bit more precise. And uh, we're going to take a look at that right now. So um, we're still going to leave the power here. We're going to we got to set the left motor to reverse, but we're going to get rid of let's see this stuff right here. We're not going to let it sleep. Uh, we're not going to set the power to zero after the sleep. So we're just going to take this and we're going to delete. And we take this one. We're going to delete. And uh, we're going to stick this one back up here before we finish. But right now, we're going to need a couple more variables. Okay. So if you if you have a motor with an encoder, the encoder will basically um, count off a certain number of ticks per revolution. And the motors that we have do 1,440 ticks per revolution. So that is a number that we want to remember. So we're going to create a variable here and we're going to call this uh, ticks per revolution. Okay. And we're going to set it to 1440. So let's go to math here and we need a constant. So let's go over here and snap this in. And then we're going to change this to 1,440. Okay. And then we need to know the circumference of our wheel. So let's go to variables here and we create another one. And we'll call this wheel circumference. And we're going to set that equal to, and I measured the wheel. And our wheel is 12.6 inches in circumference. So one revolution will move the robot forward 12.6 inches. So let's go to um, our math. And we want to initialize that too. And the number is going to be 12.6. OK. Now, the goal here is we want to figure out exactly how many ticks it's going to take to travel a specific distance. So let's say that I want to travel two feet, uh, you know, the length of one block on our game floor. So that's going to be 24 inches. And if I know how many ticks per inch get counted off by my encoder, then all I have to do is multiply that by the number of inches that I want to travel. Okay. So we need a couple more variables here. And we're going to create a variable um, that um, we're going to call this um, ticks to destination. And we're going to put that down here. And actually, I kind of got ahead of myself a little bit here. The other variable we need is ticks per inch. So we'll drag that one in. We need to do that first. So ticks per inch is going to be the number of ticks divided by the number of inches. So I just need to take the ticks per revolution divided by the circumference. And then let's go back over here to our math. And I need to do some division here. So let's take our division and drag it out there. And I said I wanted to divide the ticks divided by the circumference. So in here, I need to put a variable. And that's going to be ticks per revolution. And, uh, whoops, got put in there. Okay. And I want to divide it by the wheel circumference. So let's go back here and uh, let's do some more division, or not division, let's go back to our variables. And I want uh, to divide that by the wheel circumference. And that will give me my ticks per inch. Okay. And so let's say that I want to travel two feet. Okay, well, that's 24 inches. So uh, the number of ticks it's going to take to get there is going to be 24 inches multiplied by the ticks per inch. So let's go and um, I want to set this to 
I'm going to put one more variable in here, and that's going to be my um, distance to travel. So let's do another variable, and let's create it, and uh, I'm going to call it inch, and I'll do distance to, to travel. Okay, and I want to set that to, um, so this needs to be inches because that's what my units are here. So uh, let's go to math. And let's set that equal to, I want to go two feet, which would be 24 inches. Okay. So, uh, how many ticks is it going to take? Uh, it's going to take 24 inches multiplied by the number of ticks per inch. And that will be the number of ticks it takes to get to my destination. So, I need to do some multiplication here. So, that's in my math group. And I want to multiply the uh, distance to travel. Whoops. Uh, can't type that in. I've got to go over here and get my variable. So I want distance to travel uh, times um, the number of ticks per inch. So let's go back here and we'll put ticks per inch over here. So uh, let's do some calculations here. Let me pull up my calculator again. And let's see, if I want to travel um, two feet, that's 24 inches, that's going to be about two rotations if my wheel is 12.6 inches in circumference you know two rotations is going to get me to 25.2 inches so it's it's gonna be a little bit less than two full rotations and two full rotations would be um, 1440 times two so uh, let's do 1440 times two and it should be a little less than 2880 I'm just going to store this okay um, so my answer should be, you know, like 2,700 something, 2,600 something, somewhere like that. So my ticks per revolution, let's, let's, uh, clear and let's go back over here and do some of these calculations. So my ticks per inch is going to be the ticks per revolution. So it'll be 1440 divided by 12.6. And I'm going to do 114 ticks to move one inch. And I want to go 24 inches. So I'm going to multiply that number by 24 and hit enter and I get 2,742, which is a little bit less than the 2,880 that we had. So I'm pretty sure we are doing this correctly. So now we know how many ticks we need to travel two feet. And the nice thing about setting it up like this is you can use this exact same code. Uh, if you move to a different motor that has a num different number of ticks per revolution, uh, you can simply change this number here. If you move to a different robot that has a different wheel circumference, uh, you can simply change this number here. And then uh, if you want to figure out the distance you want to travel, you can simply put that in here. And, you know, maybe I should have, like, put that up with the other ones, the, the constants. So let's uh, put that up there. And uh, it doesn't really make too much difference. So you just substitute your three numbers in here and it will calculate the ticks per inch and it will calculate the ticks to destination and that's the number that we want to use to get our robot to move a specific distance okay so we will talk about how you can set the encoder uh, to travel that distance in our next video